Please stand up for our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. Thank you for Thank you for this wonderful day. This wonderful day. Keep us safe. Keep us safe. And bless us. And bless us. Always. Always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher. Always remember that God loves you, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, before you take your seat, can we pick up the pieces of paper under your chair? Okay, you will all take your seats. Okay, Mary Daniela, who's the absent in your row today? No one is absent in our row. Before we proceed in our discussion for today, who among you can still recall our last topic? Okay, Mary Luz? Faces of matter. Faces of matter. Okay, let's see. Very good! Our last topic is all about the faces of matter. Good job! And the faces of matter are the following... Solid, liquid, gas. Okay. Who among you can give me an example of solid? Mm, Mary Daniela? Stone. Stone. Very good, Mary Daniela. And how about in liquid? Okay, Jillian? Dishwashing liquid. This washing is liquid. Okay, because it's also liquid, okay? Very good, Julian. How about in gas? Okay? Oxygen. Hang in our air. Very good. Nothing like that. Okay. Napakagaling na wala ang aking mga students. Or just go. Very good. So, before we proceed in our main discussion for today, we're going to have an activity about our lesson for today. And I'm going to flash a uh, jumbled letters and you're going to find what those jumbled letters are about. So, here are the possible answers. So, the first one is... Who knows this? Mike Chester. Hey, very good. Where's the hurt here? Can you pick it? Very good! Good job, Mark Chester. Okay, the second one is... Sun. Wait. Okay, where is this? Sun. Sun, very good! Again, where is sun? So, the next one is... So, that's the sun. The next one is... Moon. Very good! So, our topic for today is all about the... The earth, moon, and the sun. Very good. So, the first one is the... Earth. So, did you know that the earth is one of the solar planets in the solar system? So... So, this globe will represent as the Earth. So, at the top of this, this is what we call the North Pole. Very good. And at the bottom of this, this is what we call the South Pole. Very good. So, you can see this line at the center of the globe or the Earth. Yes, teacher. So, this fixed line is what we call the Axis. Axis. Did you know that one complete rotation of the Earth is equal Equal to one day, one day or twenty-four miles. So it can cost the day and night. So na cost pala yung sa rotation of Earth ng araw at gabi. So it revolves on the sun in an elliptical way, and that is what we call the. What is this? Or orbit. So the next one is moon. So the moon is the 
the planet of the earth. Again, the moon is the satellite of the earth. Very good. And there are two eclipses, which is the... Where do you think is the lunar eclipse? Okay, where, Daniela? Okay, very good. You have a gift later, okay? And how about in the solar eclipse? Thank you. Okay, Jillian? Solar eclipse. Wow, very good. So the meaning of solar eclipse is? Of course, when the moon faces between the sun and the earth. So luminitaw daw yung solar eclipse kapag dumadaan yun between the sun and the earth. And then the next one is the solar eclipse. So the solar eclipse is on? On and the midst of the moon it is called lunar eclipse. So there is an eclipse of the moon when the earth moves directly between the moon and the sun. Okay, very good. And the next one and the last one is the sun. So the sun is the It is a star of the center of the solar system. Okay, very good. And did you know that the sun is the most important and it is the source of energy. Okay, very good. So do you understand our lesson for today, class? Yes, teacher. For you, what is the importance of the earth, moon, and the sun? Hmm. Mary Luz? Para mahabang buhay natin. Mahabang Para buhay natin? Okay, very good. Good job. Other one? Okay, Jillian? Kasi po, di ito po tayo natin. Oh, very good, Jillian. Again, okay? Last one? Kung wala po yung tatangin, di po tayo magbuhay. Oh, very good. Okay. Good job. So, to sum it up, the earth, moon, and the sun is related to each other. And they are very important in our life kasi di ba nakatira tayo sa earth. So, paano nga ba natin, sa palagay niya, paano natin mapapangalagahan yung earth natin? Okay, Marta? Lilinisin po natin. Lilinisin, very good. Okay. Hey, Marie Grace? What? Okay, alagahan natin yung earth. Next one. He said. Okay, very good. So, yun. Dapat sa murang edad pa lang natin, dapat matuto tayo linisin ang kapalikiran at itapon nito sa maayos na basurahan. Tapos dapat mag tayo nagpuputo na Uno. Uno. At dapat nagtatanim tayo ng mga halaman. Okay, very good. And now, bugroup po kayo sa tatlo. This is the group 1, group 2, and group 3. Okay, the group 1 will going to illustrate the moon. And then the group 2 will going to illustrate the sun. And then the last one is the earth. Okay, just do it. Upo na lang kayo sa and do your work. Mark Chester. Tapos na ba ang lahat? Yes, teacher! Okay, where's the earth? Wow, very good! Wow, very good! Wow! So, this one is from the group? One! One is the moon! Okay, let's touch it, ate. And then the next one is the? Sun! Very good! And then the next one is the? Earth! Earth. Yes, very good! Okay, clap your hands! Okay, very good! So now, here's the paper and you're going to answer the following, okay? Just pass it, pass it forward. So, you're going to identify this? Teachers! Done. Are you all done? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'll pass your papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
thank you for your assignment. Kindly write this on your paper. Yes, you're going to answer it on home, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, are you all done? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's stand up. Goodbye, class. Good.